And so I am tremendously pleased to announce that the province is committing to provide financial assistance to the Canadian to soccer team Canada. I would just like to thank the British Columbia government for their continued support and we hope to make you all proud this summer in London and in 215. Thank you. I had two uncles that played professionally. One actually represented Canada on the men's side. And yeah, so in my family, you get signed up for soccer. Uh, have an older brother, he played, and so my parents signed me up. And I I'm Catherine Chloe Cahoon, and I'm in historic Gastown in Vancouver, Canada. I'm going all around Vancouver to chat with men about women. So I'm at Kitts Beach, and these guys just finished a basketball game. I'm talking with... Nishal. And... Carson. And where in Vancouver are you from? I'm from downtown. How about you? Uh, West Vancouver. Aaron Shapiro. And... James Green. Where in Canada are you from? I'm from North Vancouver. And, and I'm from North Vancouver as well. Damian Brown. Christian Stevens. And Brian Offlin. And he is actually from Ireland and Britain, but they are all here in Vancouver now, so it's a pretty small world. John Dickey. And... Devin Woolley. And where in Canada are you from? North Vancouver. Those last two guys said their full names so that you could Google them. They like all the admiration they can get. I am speaking with... Brandon. And... Sterling. Okay, so this one is not single. He's engaged. So girls, he's off limits. Don't get too excited. But this one is single. I'm speaking with... Jonas. And... Klaes. And they're actually from Denmark, so they're kind of like adopted Canadians, if you want to call it that, because they just arrived here. If a girl comes to Vancouver and she really wants to meet Canadian men, where should she go besides a hockey game? i pretty much say anywhere downtown. I'd say since we're in Vancouver, since it's such an outdoor city, i say go outdoors, oh, yeah. enjoy some activities, get involved with some team sports. I mean, a lot of people say go to the clubs, go to the bars, but if you're looking for an appealing guy, get, get an athletic guy. Where in Vancouver do you think girls can go to meet appealing men? I would say Yaletown is a good, it's a good place to start. That's where we are right now. How about you? Well, I think Gastown is a good place. It's, um, there's a lot of young people there. What's the quality in a girl that makes you ask her out? I think uh, beauty, natural beauty. That's the most important thing to me. And what do you classify as natural beauty? Someone who can get up and not have to put on makeup in the first five minutes. Um, someone uh, who knows who they are um, and isn't flaky too. You know, just a down-earth cool chick. I think it's very important that she has confidence and sort of believes in herself and is not afraid to show who she is. What do you notice first in a girl? Um, usually a girl is a smile or eyes. Uh, obviously she has to have a cute butt too. <laughs> oh my gosh, that means these girls have to hit the gym. Her eyes. A lot of guys have been saying this. How about you? Uh, I'm actually a hair and teeth guy. Hair and teeth. And you do have nice teeth. Thank you. Uh, a nice smile. A smile is all you need. Uh, a girl that's really goal oriented. Um, that's, that's probably the biggest turn on for me. It's very important for me that the girl knows how to have fun. How many times do you have to be around a girl until you feel comfortable asking her on a date? Once, not even. I could ask a girl on a date just walking up to her. Oh, you're the confident type. How about you? Same deal. Before I ask the next question, you may be wondering why I'm here in Canada. And it's kind of a crazy story. I won an award for But I Do, my video. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around this because I'm an American writer who won a Canadian award for a video based on a book about meeting European men. But I'm not complaining. And then I was asked to be on Shaw TV with the fabulous Patrick and Fiona. Welcome back to The Rush. Well, we are very happy to have our next guest here. She's written a book called A Single Girl's Guide to Meeting European Men. And here to tell us all about it and how you can, too, is Catherine Chloe Cahoon. How are you? Good. How are you? Thank Good. you very much for coming on. By the of way, course. I just want to say uh, I'm a huge fan of your YouTube videos. They are... Amazing, clever, and funny. What has your experience been like with Vancouver men? Because you, you know, you're going to do a video while you're here. Have I you am. met any Vancouver men? No, not at all. I have. <laughs> I met men everywhere but Vancouver, Dubai, California, India. They're, so they're in Vancouver, but they say they're from somewhere else. Yeah, well, they even say they're just visiting too. Oh, that's I mean, good. Where are the people who live here? That's what I want to know. How would you impress a single girl? I think cooking her the best meal she's ever had, probably a good start. 
That does sound good. How about you? Uh, for me, it's probably something a bit different. Um, maybe making a full day of it. A bit of shopping, you know, wine and dine. Traditional stuff. We like being wine and dine. You know, see if you have something in common and then go from there. How would you impress a girl? Um, I like to be a bit more outdoorsy. Maybe kind of go off on a hike, go for a spin somewhere, you know, do that kind of stuff. Try and get to know her and listen to her. What's your best pickup line? Um, I lost my number. Can I have yours? Hello. Hi. Who, Who are you? Doing here? I'm, I'm Daniel. I'm, I'm Catherine. I'm interviewing men. What's your best pickup line? <laughs> my best pickup line? Um, I don't know. Do you think this will work? Do you have any raisins? No. How about a date? Um, I think I got another one. Uh, what's this shirt made out of? Cotton. Boyfriend material. <laughs> Sometimes I would say, oh, you look like you. would like to get to know me a bit better. <laughs> okay, you can, you can do the, you know, I, I noticed you noticing me, so I'll put you on notice that I'm noticing you too, and see if she laughs, and if not, then I'd that's put, a, oh, You know, that's a good one, because she'll start laughing, exactly. you know? She'll think you're funny. I'd say anything that would make her chuckle. Because if, yeah. if she laughs, yeah. then she, that shows that she's comfortable with you, and uh -huh. it's pretty, it's game over from there, so. Anything else that um, a girl should do if she wants to meet appealing men here? Uh, you know, as long as she loves the Canucks, we're okay with it. <laughs> Go nuts when the Canucks score. That's, that's all you gotta know. Just go nuts. I can handle that. Yeah. Okay. What do you think if a girl makes the first move? I think I like a girl that likes, uh, who knows what she wants and takes advantage of that. It shows um, guts. What's um, the most romantic thing you've ever done for a girl? I cooked a sort of, I made an effort to cook a, uh, the best dinner that I could and I sort of in, uh, in the dining room I put up a lot of uh, candles so I bought an, an entire bag of candles and sort of lit up the room with just candles. That's really nice, I like that. How about you? Um, I took her out sailing with a picnic uh, basket. That's also good. Okay, so how can a girl tell if a guy is into her when they're just starting to date? Because he can't really be too forward otherwise it seems creepy. Um, keeping their attention usually. Um, if they've got their attention and the evening goes well and you can just be the two of you without anybody else interfering or needing to be needing to be invited like friends or such I think it's a good one to go with. So what's a date deal breaker in your mind? A date deal breaker? Um, cell phone use. For sure cell phone use. If you know if they're on the phone checking the phone too much is definitely a deal breaker. I get it's not uh, manners I think you know you gotta be polite be into the person you're that you're with right so put the phone down for a minute. And you shouldn't have to be on the phone during a date. It's ridiculous. How about you? What's a date can, deal breaker? Can you hold on a second? Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd say a, a big deal breaker for me is probably baggage. Patrick, Fiona, and I chatted about different qualities that men possess. Let's talk about some of yes. some kinds of the men, because you outline them in the book, what kind you can meet. Yeah, I have different types of men, and a lot of them are nicknames of the guys in the book can't box in a guy and say this is just one characteristic. So okay Patrick and Fiona so this clearly looks like an outdoor sports hunk and he even mountain bikes but there's so much more they're into business so they're also in about business isn't that right? Yeah we study at Copenhagen Business School. See girls are very intelligent. And then, uh, outdoor sports that's the guys who just like yeah. let's go on a hike. <laughs> I mean, they can be about business and outdoor sports. I actually have a friend who is about business, and he's also a groover. Who knew? He enters right. the dance floor, and it's like, what? Where did these moves come from? Clearly not in the <laughs> office. I actually, uh, I signed up for uh, taking salsa lessons. So. Seriously, girls should they'll be in love with you guys. I've just had so much fun here in Vancouver, and I'm sad to leave.